Good morning, everyone. Um, it is, what's today? Oh, Wednesday, Wednesday. Um, I'm currently just getting the kids' things together. Carter is going to go spend the night with my parents tonight. I am going to take Ryan to the doctor. And I have got like 20 minutes to get everything together so that um, I can make it to the doctor on time. I totally meant to get up earlier to do all this, but I personally feel like crap myself. So I needed to jump in the shower just to kind of rinse off and just get that steam going through my sinuses because I'm just gunky. But uh, I hope I'm not getting the cold that the rest of the family had at the beach. I hope it's just sinus stuff. And um, But I'm taking Ryan to the doctor because I did take her to the um, neighbor who is a nurse and she looked at her ears for me and they're pretty red. So if she doesn't have an ear infection, it's definitely coming on. She still has her fever. Last night was really rough. Surprisingly, Carter was up a lot more than she was, but um, so I'm just exhausted. But I've got things to do. I don't know what I'm going to take for my sinuses. I might just take DayQuil because DayQuil and NightQuil seem to knock whatever you have out. So um, I'm going to finish getting some things together real quick, get the kids up. Carter's already up. He's just been hanging out in his bed. Um, get them in the car, head down the road, drop Carter off, take Ryan to the doctor. And hopefully my day will kind of slow down after that. We are back from the doctor's and my neighbor was right. She has an ear infection. Um, they put her on amoxicillin, which I thought was going to be very hard to give to her because she does not like taking medication at all. Um, but she actually, I just kind of praised her every time she swallowed a little bit. And um, she took it like a champ. Um, she's definitely not feeling very well. He said it will take probably about two to three days before she kind of perks up again. Um, so yeah, I think today is just going to be like a cuddle day. I'm going to cuddle her for a little bit since she feels bad. And then I'll try to see if she'll go in her crib and sleep for a little bit so I can get some things done myself. Um, I did take the day quill this morning and I do feel a little bit better. Um, well, I want to say a lot better than I did this morning. So hopefully that keeps working for me so I can get things done that I need to get done since yesterday was kind of a bust. Today is hopefully not so much of a bust since my mom and dad have Carter. Um, it should be easier for me to get a few things done. You know, when you have two kids and one is sick, it's just, it's hard. I mean, you've got one kid who's clingy and um, Carter, he doesn't realize why she's clingy and so then he wants to be clingy too and he wants to play and so while he's trying to climb all over us and play with us you know she's not having it so um, it's always good to have that extra help to um, take care of one of the babies while I have to take care of the sick one so <laughs> I'm very very grateful for my parents and my mother-in-law and anyone else who ends up helping us. Um, we've had a lot of friends and family help us when the kiddos are sick. So um, definitely, definitely appreciate those people. Any play with fishies? Show them what you're doing. She's been playing with this little app on my phone and essentially if she touches it it puts bubbles and it makes the fish go towards the bubbles so fishies fishies yeah are they going towards the bubbles i think we need to go take a nap you look tired Oh yeah. It's all those fishies. You're making a lot of bubbles.
well. doesn't want cookies she doesn't want food we've given her her antibiotic and we've given her some ibuprofen tried to lay her down for a nap and she just did not want it I'm sorry So sleepy and snotty and drooly and making a mess on me, but that is okay. okay. Yep, hanging out in the bathroom while this little girl plays in the bathtub. It seems to be the only thing. That calms her down. I put her down for a nap after I got her calmed down the last time. And she slept maybe 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes tops. And as soon as I was trying to take a nap, um, she woke up screaming and crying. I could not calm her down for the life of me. And I said, you know what? Do you want to take a bath? And she did her, uh, which means yes. So that's what we're doing, and I will continue to put more warm water in the bathtub and let her play as long as she wants, just to keep her calm. Um, I know she is in a lot of pain and she's super sleepy. I got a call into the doctor because um, someone suggested that there might be some eardrops that I could give her um, to help with the pain, and so I'm hoping that they call me back and give me some information and hopefully it's good news <laughs> um so yeah this is what we're doing right now this is what you do when you have a sick baby you do whatever they want to do whatever makes them happy so i've got my nook here charging and i've got a couple books on there that i can read but um yeah just hanging out with this little one are you having fun you look so seepy. Poor baby. hurts her to suck, like on a bottle or sippy cup. Even the straws seem to bother her, so... What you doing, you little booger? So it is bedtime. It's like nine o'clock and I am exhausted. Ryan is not going to sleep at all. She won't let me hold her. She won't let me rock her. Um, and she is currently in her crib. If you can see, she's just kind of hanging over her crib, standing up. I left a pillow in there for her 
so that she can um, kind of prop herself up on it, like laying up that way she's not so flat on her back or her stomach. But um, at this point, I don't really know if she's in pain. I think it's more or less that, um, which I'm sure she is in pain, but I'm thinking it's more or less she hasn't had any naps at all today and she is exhausted and she is fighting it so hard right now and I feel so bad but there's just I, we have tried everything and there's just nothing that seems to be helping her I mean nothing but I've given her all her medications for the evening I've, I've cleaned out her nose just everything and I um, mean it just breaks my heart to see her in so much pain and just anger and when I say angry I mean she is angry like she has been stomping around the house you know uh, pulling things off of tables just not her normal self my husband is up and my mother-in-law is still in there so maybe one of them can calm her down I don't know they've tried everything as well but um, I'm hoping she just kind of runs out of steam and just kind of goes to sleep but I think it's gonna be a long night guys hey there everyone um yeah today has been pretty productive considering we only had four hours of sleep last night literally four hours of sleep um Ryan got up you know she never really went to bed and then she was up I was up with her from 12 to 4 a.m. so I didn't sleep hardly at all she didn't sleep at all she finally went to sleep at 4 a.m. and it was to the point where I just had to leave her in her crib alone let her kind of cry it out a little bit because I have given her all the medication I could give her I've done everything I possibly could do to make her feel better and nothing was working so eventually she just ended up falling asleep and she slept until 8 today um, which is her normal schedule. So I'm trying to get her back on her routine. She seems to be a lot better today. And she did take a small nap at her first nap um, time. So that's good. We went to my chiropractor appointment, got adjusted, which was absolutely needed. And he also took a look at Ryan's ear. Um, and he went ahead and kind of did a little bit of maneuvering to help help everything kind of work its way out. but. We are at my parents' house. Ryan is ready to get out of the car. We did go see my best friend while she was at work as well, so that was cool. Um, but yeah, Ryan's feeling a lot better. She's still a little fussy here and there, but. Alrighty, everyone, um, we just got home. I didn't get to vlog too much today because we honestly didn't do a whole, whole lot. Um, once I got to my parents' house, I hung out with the kiddos and then I put them down for their nap around, I think it was 3.30, 4 o'clock. Once they got, went down, I actually took a nap myself since I was so exhausted. I'm still exhausted, but um, it is what it is. And Ryan is currently in the bedroom just screaming. And um, she's not really crying because she's got no tears in her eyes. She's just um, kind of just the angry scream. I don't know if you can hear her. Carter is actually sleeping. Don't know how he's doing it. We ended up eating dinner at my parents' house. My brother came over, his girlfriend and her little boy and then my husband came over right after work and we grilled out steaks pork chops chicken and all the vegetables and stuff and so that was a lot of fun it was great to have some family time and just relaxing after all of yesterday's events with ryan so yeah we we had a pretty good day and it is now like nine o'clock and i feel like i'm going to pass out so i'm going to go ahead and end the vlog but if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe below and um, leave a friendly comment if you'd like we will see you in our next video bye guys